Hi, my name is David O. Stillings. Wouldn't it be neat if I could buy a camera and I could photograph sunrises and sunsets and birds and flowers and all the neat stuff of Mother Nature? Well, in 1974, I started using my camera, Minolta SRT-101, my very first camera and the only camera that I ever used all the years I was shooting lightning until now. The very first good photograph I ever did in my whole life was this one actually down at Lake Eola in downtown Orlando with the actual sunrise coming up behind the rose, July 1st of 76. I was chasing a sunset out toward Winter Garden, went out to Stark Lake. Here's the sun going down, I'm all, you know, and it's like it takes you a little time to get there, and you know, so you're sitting there waiting for the sun, the sun to set, and here's this storm cloud moving up to cover up my sunset. Right while I was sitting there looking at that cloud, this bolt of lightning jumped out of it. So I set my camera up, I had this little wimpy tripod, and I set the camera up on my tripod, and I had hooked up my cable release, and there was blue sky out there, so I knew I was going to overexpose real fast. So I figured maybe two or three seconds shutter time. It looked like the, the, the streak of lightning was erupting right out of this little pucker in the clouds, you know? So I called it eruption. And the whole title, artist, poet that I am, the whole title was Eruption of Man's Innermost Frustrations into a World He Has Created for Himself. Been 38 years now, this will be 39 when I finally get one this year. Been 38 years that I've been photographing lightning. I do a lot of shots and get nothing. I do storm after storm and get nothing, but that's the price you pay for getting one. My wife and I, on the day before my birthday, July 13th, 1993, and we're sitting there eating our supper and I'm trying some shots of lightning and I captured this really cool one and I call it a page of my journey because as far as I'm concerned, every photograph I get is just one more page of this journey I'm on. I don't know what the destination is, don't really care. I love this journey. So I call it, call it a, a, page, a page of my journey. But after that happened, a couple rolls later, I got this photograph called The Journey. And I mean, this thing is, it makes a page of my journey look kind of small. This bolt of lightning is huge coming out of the, the one coming out of the journey. So that night I got two really good streaks of lightning. So I went out, I was chasing this storm out west and I went out to Lake Apopka and there's a road out there. I'm pretty sure it's called Hooper's Farms Road. And that road goes all the way down out west into the lake. But at night, there's a chain link fence with a gate on it, a farmer's fence type thing that's closed. Well, the chain link was loose enough, the gate was loose enough so that I could squeeze through there because I just wanted to step inside the fence so I didn't get all these chain links in my way when I was shooting this thing. So I'm inside there and my Jeep's outside the fence and I'm, I'm inside. I saw headlights coming down the Hooper's Farms Road. I just knew it was a cop. He came down there and he turned his lights off and I happened to just lock my, sh my lock my uh, cable release and uh, locked it open. So I backed through the, the chain link fence and I held my hands up like this so he could see there wasn't anything and you know, no problem. And on the back of my jacket, big white letter says lightning stalker. And I'm walking backwards toward him and he said, you can turn around, you know. <laughs> so I turned around and he held out his hand and he said, you got to be the guy. He said, I just wanted to thank you. And I said, what? And he said, you go to schools and do a lightning show? I said, yeah. And I used to go to schools and do my show, you know, but um, a lightning awareness show. And in elementary schools, I would split the group down the center and I would have one side screaming, if you see it, flee it. And the other side, if you hear it, clear it about seeing lightning and hearing lightning. And uh, he said, I just wanted to thank you for going to the schools and teaching the kids that because my daughter dragging her little brother in there, he said, your, your idea is working. Well, while he was talking to me, my shutter was open, and he looked at me and he said, aren't you missing everything going on out there? And I said, no, I locked my shutter open before I came out to talk to you, so whatever's happening out there, I got it. And uh, so he said, okay. I said, I said, I'm not in trouble for being inside the fence. He said, nah. He said, I wouldn't want the chain link fence thing going in my camera anyway. So um, 
I went out there and I closed my shutter. You know, it's like I know I don't usually leave my shutter open for multiple hits of lightning. I like to pick them out one at a time because then you get good cloud detail and you get good color. But uh, I got this one called Riders on the Storm. Yay, Jim Morrison in the doors. I love what I do, you know, and I don't know how many people like what they do for their life. You know, I don't make much money on it, but I never dreamed of fortune and fame when I was younger. I only, I only dreamed of being different. <laughs> Boy, did I get my wish. 2008, I was able to take over a frame shop. When I first took this place over, it had my work over there, but it had all this other artwork on the walls. And this is called Stormy Weather Gallery, and I, I didn't want to be just like another frame shop. You can walk into another frame shop and see a, all these little posters that are in things that are in little files, you know, and nah, so everything, I took everything off the wall and put all my stuff on the wall. So now it can be Stormy Weather Gallery and everything that people come in here and see. I don't have to try to figure out who it was and where it came from because every shot that I, that's in here is mine. Wouldn't it be neat if dot dot dot? I always got dot 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 in there because wouldn't wouldn't it be neat if I could write poetry that people could relate to and understand? Wouldn't it be neat if I could buy a camera and I could photograph sunrises and sunsets and birds and well, everything I've got going is wouldn't it be neat if? So I wrote a poem called Wouldn't It Be Neat If? And here it is. This is perhaps my hardest poem, the hardest for me to write. Because this poem is different. It's from me to you. This poem has got to be right. Many poems have I written of emotions and feelings, living through the eyes of a poet. But now I have a message. It's my gift to you. But you probably already know it. At 27 years old, I discovered a truth, and the poetry man came to be. Wouldn't it be neat if, was my greatest thought. The energy was coming to me. One of the gifts that God gave to man is a gift to make dreams come true. To share this gift, to share my dream, is to share my energy with you. I ask you to dream and believe in your dreams. That is the final key. And I thank you for listening, for taking your time, for the poetry man, for the lightning stalker, and for me. Thank you. Thank you.